Hey, uh, welcome back to the channel. First, do me a favor and subscribe. Thank you. Let's get to 1000 subscribers. So you saw the title. This is a brand new sneaker for me, a brand new brand. This is the Diadora Equipe Corsa Due. I finally got it off eBay on a discount and uh, let's get right into it. As you can see right here, there are two empty spaces. One is for the Diadora. The other one is for an incredible sneaker. Do yourself a favor and stick around. For this video though, there is no unboxing. These were shipped in a DHL bag, which is fucking horrible. So I'm not going to do an unboxing if there is no actual box. These are size 9 UK, 9.5 US, 43 Europe and 27.5 centimeters. If you've been watching my channel, you know I always say go with the centimeters if you get a brand that you never owned. These had the white toe box, which is made out of some sort of a horrible paper material, which got dirty just uh, by me looking at it. And another thing I had to change is the insole. The stock insole has a weird shape. It's thicker towards the toes, but this might have been a mistake. This is how these look after 50 kilometers. So let's see some on feet and then I'm going to get right into the things I like and the things I don't like. Alright, so the things I don't like about these, first of all, the price. The price is kind of high for what the sneaker is. I did get these off eBay for a good discount, but still. The smell out of the box was of cheap adhesive. The upper material was frayed out of the box, which is not a good sign. And these seem like they are going to disintegrate, which is again not a good sign. But they are okay so far. I don't like the insole design. It's thicker towards the front. The toes are pushed into the toe box. I did change the insole, but that might have been a mistake. The tongue is a fucking joke. Just look at it. Seriously, what the fuck is this? And it should have been gusseted. There's literally no padding on these. So I was expecting some heel rubbing, but it was not that bad. The white toe cap was really trash. I had to fix that. I really don't like this design with the color of the sneaker, the same color way as the eye stay. So I had to fix that with some black laces. Some weird yellowing happened just on the left shoe when I sprayed this with water repellent spray. I kind of fixed that, but then I've noticed the materials are pure trash. There was heavy bleeding of this red material on the upper. I did wipe that off with some uh, wet wipes. I might remove these red uh, lace hoops. Even though these are super lightweight, I've experienced some heel drag. And this is really bad, taking in consideration that I didn't even run in these and I'm not an athlete. Maybe it's because I've changed the insole, maybe not, but I got plantar fasciitis after putting about 50 kilometers in these. If you don't know what plantar fasciitis is, it's some sort of an injury in the heel. This never happened with none of my sneakers. I do have a feeling that's why they've made the stock insole like that. But you should be able to change insoles. 
Let me know if you want to see a video about this injury and uh, what I did to make it better. Alright, so the things I do like about these, and there are some things I do like, I love the overall design. The midsole design, the way these look on feet and in hand. These are very lightweight, probably top three, the lightest sneaker in my collection. These are very breathable because of this <laughs> thin mesh on the upper. They were more comfortable after that insole swap, but as I said, that might have been the mistake. I really like the squishy midsole and the creases I put on these. I like the black sock liner. This is not really a sock liner, but I really like the black insides of the sneaker. I'm really surprised by this, but there is no damage on the exposed midsole after 50 or so kilometers. So that is the end of the video. Let me know what you think about these and uh, if you have any questions, but thank you. Subscribe. Bye.